Or when some, some building work was taking place um, on the, the roofs of the various parts of the Bar Convent, of the buildings running down Blossom Street, the builders found various items. Uh, amongst them was a small, rather tattered child's shoe. And it was tucked away inside the roof space, along with various items, including some newspapers, some copies of the Daily Telegraph from the 1860s. Well, as far as we know, uh, this is something that is a, a kind of good luck charm, and it's uh, a fairly common practice, certainly in England. Um, and there are records of over a thousand of them having been placed in roof spaces going back to the 16th century. So it was put in the roof gap of a building to protect it from evil and to bring good fortune. And generally, uh, always a child's shoe, and very commonly a right-footed child's shoe. Um, and the idea being that you have all this sort of good energy, if you want to call it that, whatever, of, of a child in the shoe, sense of innocence, and it's there as, as, as folklore, really, to protect the building. There isn't any direct written connection between this, this shoe and the convent itself, other than the convent was a, a, a school from 1686, when it first opened, until 1985, when the convent school closed and, and All Saints opened. So in all that time, obviously, they would have had a lot of children here being educated, being taught. So obviously, in terms of getting hold of a shoe, it would have been fairly easy. The shoe has now gone on display in our exhibition, which tells the history of the house and of the community and of the women who founded it. Um, and it will stay here. It's in a little case so people can come and see it.